everybody, Hoodie Cobra Commander 788 here, and this is another comparison video comparing a modern G.I. Joe action figure to the vintage equivalent. And this time we're going to look at the Baroness. This is version 1 of the Baroness from 1984. This is version 12 of the Baroness, uh, originally released in, in 2009, and then re-released in 2014 as part of a 50th anniversary set. The 2009 release came with this submachine gun and her figure stand. The 50th anniversary set came with uh, lots of other little gadgets. Despite the fact that modern action figures are in a larger scale than the vintage, these figures appear to be very close to the same size. Uh, taking a look at the 1984 version 1 of the Baroness, uh, we see that she has uh, all black. The mo Most of the action figure is just black plastic. Um, we have uh, black uh, sculpted hair on her head. We have uh, painted glasses and painted lipstick. Uh, we have a red painted Cobra sigil on her chest. Other than that, there is no paint anywhere else on this action figure. It's just basic black. The vintage figure had two accessories. It had her laser rifle, which was, I think, a little oversized for her. Uh, and also she had uh, a backpack with a sculpted Cobra on it. Uh, and this backpack I always thought was kind of useless. I mean, it looks cool, but the Baroness does not really need a backpack. Uh, she did come with a backpack, though, so that's the accessories on the a vintage figure. Looking at the modern figure, we can see that she's still mostly black. Um, she had two accessories. She had this submachine gun, which I think is probably more appropriate for the Baroness. And she came with a figure stand, uh, which had her name on it, codenamed the Baroness, and a cobra symbol there on the top. And that was nice. That's a nice thing that modern figures did. Uh, vintage figures did not come with figure stands. Uh, but as you can see, uh, she's still mostly black. Uh, she does have a red sculpted uh, cobra on her chest. And she has a few silver details, a little paint on her belt. Um, and I think that's just enough detail to make it uh, look a little bit better. Um, I think that if you did too much paint on the figure, I think it might detract from the, that really nice, sleek black design, which I really liked about the original. Her sculpted on hair really restricts her head movement uh, a lot. But other than that, she has lots of good points of articulation, far more articulation than the vintage figure had uh, and of course that's a plus with modern figures. Looking at the file cards the file cards are almost identical uh, they did change the artwork on the modern file card the text however is almost exactly the same. Really only one small part of it was rephrased other than that the text is identical. On my last comparison video some comments were made about the proportions of the snow serpent. Well if you thought the snow serpent looked stretched out uh, this figure looks like it's been in the taffy puller. Her limbs are very long and thin, her torso is very thin, and her head is tiny. Now the vintage figure also does not have perfectly human proportions. Uh, really, neither of these action figures are proportioned realistically. The proportions on the vintage figures are kind of chunky, but that's because they're toys. I mean, they're made uh, for small hands to be able to get around and manipulate. Now the modern figures are also misproportioned, but I think it's because they they're not toys. I mean, these are really designed uh, to have a lot of posability uh, and for uh, collectors to pose them and freeze them into one pose that they like and leave them there on a display shelf. As usual with the modern figures, this looks great. This Baroness looks very nice. Lots of great detail, uh, very sleek design. A lot of time and effort went into this, but I mean, this is a toy. This is the action figure that we took on Great Adventures. And I'm not sure this is a toy. So this is the ultimate dilemma between modern and vintage G.I. Joe action figures. Looks great, plays great, tastes great, less filling. As always, I want to know what you think about these action figures, so leave a comment on this video. And don't forget to check back with this channel for full vintage G.I. Joe tour reviews. I'll see you next time.